Hi and welcome to the 10 square meter workshop. When using a track saw, if you want to keep the material on the waist side of the track, then you need to allow for the thickness of the saw blade, the curve. A popular way to do this on YouTube channels is these 3D printed plastic guides. You push them under this track, then using your combination square, you adjust the position of your wood. But they're a bit fiddly and you have to make sure you don't move the track when you're removing them. And of course you have to place them every time. But there's a better way of doing this and an even better way than that. Coming up after this. About a year or so ago I made this jig. You'll find it amongst my videos. It's basically an item that you push onto your combination square which spaces it off and you can set the distance as normal then remove the piece knowing you've got the right setting to allow for the curve. No pieces of plastic needed you just use your combination square in the normal manner. This is certainly a lot better but it's not perfect. You have to keep sliding it on and off your combination square. So I came up with a better jig. Made by folding a piece of aluminium. It's a more complex shape but actually quite simple to make. In practice it just clips onto the square like so. You can then set the distance you need as normal but you can leave it on because it doesn't go past. So the distance you're seeing is still the one you're going to get plus the curve. So you just place it against the wood adjust as normal and that's it. Still on. You only need to take it off if you're going to do some measurements from the other side. But then how often do you do that with a combination square? It doesn't usually fit. I call it the curve clip. Here is a close-up view of the aluminium part. It looks complex but actually it's just a small piece of aluminium with two faces folded over to go over the sides of the square. And then a tab which grips this rib here so it goes into place and pushes down so it's firmly in place. It doesn't come loose. I haven't given drawing sizes because everyone's combination square will be different but it's not hard to make. Once made, the inner face is filed down to give the correct curve width. So, have I fitted one to my square? No, because I use a different sort of square. This is a magnetic one. It's held in place by a magnet, so you can pull the blade out. You can flip it over, you can turn it end for end, and it just snaps into place. And you can move it, but it's quite stiff so it doesn't get knocked. They're really quite nice. I highly recommend them. There's no screw to fiddle and no parts to lose. It does require a slightly different approach. In this case the curve clip is made out of steel and in use it just snaps it into position ready to go. But what happens if the cut you want to make is too big for the use of a combination square? Well then you need a ruler which can be a steel rule of any length and you need the curve plus. This snaps onto the end of the rule and you could use it measure the distance in the normal way. That's it set. This can be made from a small piece of aluminium angle. Cut one arm to be about one millimeter proud and cut the other to about 30 millimeters long. Next, file down the end part to the thickness of your curve. A 6mm hole through the middle. Which takes a 6mm by 3 magnet held in with super glue. But 
But what if you don't want to go to the trouble of machining aluminium? Well, head across to Thingiverse and download the file for the 3D printed version. Download the file for free, print it out, super glue a magnet to the rear. It works in exactly the same way, snap on, push in place and you're good to go. I've marked mine with a curved side in millimetres, 2.2 millimetres for mine, in case I get different thickness saw blades in the future. You can of course use this on your combination square too. Works just as well. But personally, I prefer the rigidity of the curve clip. So there we have it, faster and easy to make. The choice is yours. Hope you found this interesting, why not subscribe? And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.